one changed starting eleven today from last week. Are there any glaring, glaring differences in today's performance as opposed to the one against Cheadle? Um, listen, I actually thought the performance last week against Cheadle wasn't bad. It wasn't good in the final third. There was things that we could improve in wide areas, but on the whole, the player that last week, our defending was superb. Our build and create was outstanding last week. So we just worked this week on training on what does it look like more in wider areas? What does it look like in the final third? And I think you've seen the difference today because the consistency of the 11, I think was important for this week to try and build those relationships. But I thought in the final third, we looked very dangerous throughout the entire game this week. Um, you've mentioned attacking options in recent weeks and seem to deploy Mellon and Stewart both today in more central areas forward. Were you happy with their performance? And is this more of a short or long-term solution? No, I think they, they drift inside. I mean, Charlotte's got sort of a little bit more freedom. Kate drifts inside when she feels it, but it's, it's much about getting Bex higher. The left back, our Bex, she's fast as any player in this league. So if we get an opportunity to get her in behind, we can do. And we can obviously give the full backs a lot of problems with Kate rolling inside with that. So um, for us, I think that's, that's worked today because we had a lot of success down that left-hand side, not just with Bex, but with other players as well, combining to get through on that side. Mm. Um, we saw a number of offsides given for Doncaster today. Is this something that you've implemented or is it more kind of pinned towards an eager front line on their behalf? Not, not especially. It's not something that we've definitely worked on. Uh, some, a couple of them were probably quite close, to be fair. Um, today it's just gone our, gone our way. The rubber, the green just went with us on those a couple of close offsides. And then um, just finally, today's win extends your unbeaten run to five in all competitions. How key of a component is consistency in your push for promotion? And do you feel you've been kind of harshly treated in comparison to other clubs within the league um, with perception well I think I think yeah I think there's a few things to put on that I think we've had some different challenges to what some other clubs face what we find is when we played a lot of teams this year a lot of teams have set up very differently against us than they might do against some of our other title challenging sides that's perhaps the reputation that we might have coming down we've played a lot of sides have played back sixes and back sevens against us and then when we've watched their footage when they played say Leeds and things like that they don't set up in that fashion yeah. and so we find that a lot of teams sort of really do concentrate on their performance against us. I think the other thing as well is we're gaining a little bit of momentum now. We're, we're in good form, we're starting to get there. We still have some final third play to try and improve, but I wouldn't write us off just yet. I think there's a lot of things being said about writing us off. We're not in that top four, but you know we played every one of the top five sides away from home. They've all got to come to our ground at some point, and we're, as we've shown today, we're starting to hopefully build a little bit of fortress here and we can keep that momentum going. Okay, okay. Cheers. Cheers.